taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're gonna talk about Drip Network. Now, there's gonna be mixed feelings from people about this video, of course, um, because, you know, the video is about whether to buy or sell Drip. There's gonna be people that, you know, um, have been compounding continuously and things like that. There's going to be people that have been buying it. There's going to be people that have been selling it, right? And, uh, you know, we're human beings at the end of the day. And when you look at a chart that looks like this, you're always going to, you know, if you bought up here, for example, right, it's going to hurt looking at the chart, looking at your balance and things like that. Now, I've bought into Drip multiple times, okay, guys, and I've been buying the dips. Uh, through after this bullish, um, after this bullish, you know, um, blow off top that we saw over here, right? Uh, buying a dip isn't always the best strategy, especially in a bear market, right? Um, but buying a dip at this stage could well be a good strategy, okay, guys? And buying a dip in a bull market, of course, is going to be a good strategy. Buying a dip over here, buying a dip over here, all right, guys? So the question is. Should you be buying drip right now or should you be selling? All right, guys. Now, if we were over here, I'd say you should be selling drip. Over the past few months, I have been selling drip. Okay. I could have been selling drip up there. In fact, I was selling drip up there. I've been selling drip all along. And I've also been buying drip. All right. So I'm not one that compounds every day um, or claims every day. I've done some compounding, some buying, some selling right uh, but i'm somebody who takes profits and then when we see lower prices a lot of time i like to buy in because i get a lot more than what i would have got if i was compounding although uh, compound interest of course grows exponentially over over time right if you're compounding all the way over here continuously right that compound interest is going to give you exponential gains like that but compounding down here you're going to see your balance continue to drop all right guys but right now I think it could be a good time to start buying drip, which is why I bought a little bit more drip today. All right, guys. So I bought drip over here. I bought drip over here. I've been buying drip all along. Okay, guys, not going too heavy. I'm not a super drip mega whale like Stunner Breezy or Barter Town or, you know, some of those guys. Okay, guys, but I bought some more drip today. Okay, guys. And um, in a previous video, I talked about um, a max account strategy using Splassive to buy into Drip and so on. Okay, guys. Um, I kind of threw that strategy out the window. As, of course, we saw lower prices across the board. Okay, guys. But now I am closer to my 10,000 Drip goal. I think I said that uh, my goal was to get to 10,000 Drip and then kind of compound that up to a max account. Now, max account right now with Drip seeing at a $1.31, which is the lowest it's been um in a while okay um it's only going to cost you in fact let's work it out right how much would a max account in drip cost you a max account is probably about 27 let's say 27,500 drip okay if we times that by 131 at today's price of course this is not considering the taxes and so on a max account will cost you 36,000 approximately okay guys so if you want to get a max account in drip right now 36k right it's in the millions if it goes back to the all-time high which i'm not saying it's going to go back to the all-time high um at the end of the day aiming for all-time high is not always the best strategy the best strategy is to have a position that even if it does a fraction of the all-time high and does let's say for example 50 percent of that you're still going to be sitting pretty okay guys so getting a decent um bag or amount of exposure to an asset while it's at its all-time lows um there's lots of potential for it to at least because of people's mindset right and um let's say pump theory right a lot of people will be buying this with the uh with the uh the hope they will be going to all-time high therefore you might get like a self-fulfilling prophecy where it could go to all-time high but even if it doesn't if it just reaches the next major resistance levels right you're gonna be making a decent profit right so if it goes to 29 dollars for example right you're gonna get a 20 a 20 something x on drip right now if it just has one nice relief rally all the way up to approximately 29 uh if we say right here about 29 dollars and 87 cents i'm not saying it's going to do that i'm just telling you you know that would kind of be a good strategy right to get 20x or 20 plus x on your position right now 
Okay, guys, and for those who are compounding and things like that, they're going to be looking nice as well, right? So from a dollar all the way up to $29 or something, that will be a pretty decent return on your investment, okay? And of course, what you want to be doing is scaling out profits on the way up. Now, of course, like I said, I bought some more drip today, and this is the lowest price that I've been able to accumulate some more drip, which gets me up to seven, just under 7,500 in deposits, okay? Uh, my account sits at $9,808, which is not huge at the end of the day. I'm net positive after buying more. My max payout is 27,000 drip, okay, guys? So in order to compound this up to a max account now, it probably take me just a couple of months, okay, guys. If I was to compound every day, which of course is not really my strategy, okay. But um, we are looking at an attainable max account potentially in a in a short space of time. Where well, that could be a it, could it be classed as a short space of time, a couple of months? It can seem like forever in crypto, but you see what I'm saying, right? So. Me personally, yes, I think it's a good time to be buying drip. And of course, that's what I've done. I bought some more drip today. I let my group know that I was buying some more drip. I did say this is going to be the last time that I actually buy more drip um, if it continues to fall at the end of the day, right? Because at the end of the day, um, you have to be smart. You can't just keep dumping money into something um, and it's not showing you any signs of life. All right, guys, when you look at the chart, right, um, this is not a pretty chart it's not a beautiful chart unfortunately right it's pretty up until it gets to this point but the problem that i have with this chart is there's no real relief rally right there's n there's been no you know like normally when you see a chart go up you know up to on here it says 169 dollars on here i remember it went to 191 dollars or something like that right but when you get these little pumps right it came down to 122 it pumped to 139, came down to $45, it pumped to $56, came down to $30, it pumped to $35. Uh, let's say over here it come down to $4.42, it pumped to $10. So that's that's probably the best pump that it's had, right? Just over a hundred percent. And the relief rallies are not very huge. I like to see, you know, at least like if it comes down, like $168, it's come down. 90 something percent in fact let's just do a measured move right so if we go to the peak we go to the bottom 99 percent drip is down <laughs> at the moment 99 percent right and with it coming down that much you would expect to see some nice little relief rallies in between right we're talking from all the way from a peak of tw the 26th of january we're talking a year have downside right almost right we're in december now so say like 11 months of downside and no real significant pump in between that is not great okay guys now many people are going to be looking at animal farm and a lot of people have been selling and going into animal farm and forex shark is talking a lot about animal farm and some people have the complaint that he's not really promoting drip Okay, guys, we know that we have these scratch cards, which are potentially coming soon, uh, uh, the, or the scratchies, or whatever you want to call them. We've got the scratchies. Uh, you've got the animal farm, which was switched off for the best part of nine months. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, which did help with the price of drip. Um, over here is where you saw the animal farm come on, and that did help with the price of drip, right? But since then, when the animal farm got switched off, um, you know, people kind of lost confidence, I'd say, and, you know, we saw the price of drip coming down, and, um, you know, that, that's just one of the factors that plays into the price of drip and people's confidence in Forex Sharp platforms, right? Um, but, yeah, he's not really been focused much on drip, although the animal farm is there to help drip, um, you know, it's or, or that's at least the theory behind it, right? Um, we're not really seeing it play out on the chart. Okay, guys, but what we are seeing is a selling pressure begin to, sl to slow down. The selling volume is coming down, okay, guys, which could potentially mean that we could see some buying volume coming, right? You see, when the selling volume starts to slow down and the buying volume takes over, we, know we, we can get these nice little price rallies. But like I said, um, that is probably the most significant rally we've seen, about 100 and something percent. In fact, let's just measure it, right? Because we don't want to get it wrong, right? Approximately 111, 110% approximately, right? So can we see 
you know, 100% pump, 200%, 300%, it would be nice just to even see drip come back to $10, right? And just test this area over here, pull back and then break out and start to come and test these levels over here just to give a little bit of relief, show some signs of life, uh, but there's going to need to be a catalyst for that and a community effort, of course, all right, guys? So for me, I think it's a good area to be buying drip. I'm not recommending that you buy a drip. You know, this is not financial advice or anything like that. But I bought a little bit of drip uh, just to top up my bag. And um, yeah, I'm hoping for some upside because, you know, things can't go down forever. So for me, if it gives even a 2X, a 2X will be decent. Hold those levels, go sideways for a little bit. That will be decent, you know, decent return on my investment um you know despite the fact that i've been pumping money into this thing all the way along i think over here i didn't really have much drip probably a thousand or so drip my account was about 70k right now i've got how many drip have i got i've got seven and a half thousand drip and my account is at nine thousand eight hundred okay guys um, it was at 10,000 when I checked it earlier today when I actually bought a little bit more drip. So it has come down further. Um, guys, let me know what you think about this because at the end of the day, it's all good to come on and you don't want to fudge your own bags. you got to remain positive. But, you know, the truth is that the drip chart, you know, a lot of people have got wrecked on this. And there's going to be a lot of, like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of mixed emotions when it comes to the drip network token. Um, for me, I think it's a good time to start buying. Uh, like I said, it's not financial advice. I'm not recommending that you do buy. But um, I put my money where my mouth is. I bought another two and a half thousand dollars worth of drip. Topped up the account and so on. So we'll see where this thing goes. I could, you know, be extremely stupid or I could be, you know, I could have just got the best entry that, that you could have got on Drip Network. But uh, only time will tell. We'll see how the price reacts over the next days and weeks. Because at the end of the day, when you buy drip, you've got no choice but to hold it. Oh, sorry, if you stake drip, you've got no choice but to hold it. And you're at the mercy of the chart, you know, the community. Uh, so we'll have to see what this thing does. Uh, one thing I will say is that it has a strong community. And I like to buy into things that have strong communities. Okay, guys, you've got the animal farm. We've seen new strategies coming out from certain influencers about the drip garden. You're going to see the scratchies. Um, Forex Shark has a history of creating tokens and not leaving them behind. Okay, guys, so you got the BR34P token. That was, I wouldn't say dead, but that was kind of stagnant for a long time. And then he came out with Drip, and then the Drip, net, uh, and then the BR34P token went absolutely crazy with the launch of Drip, because obviously that's the token that you use to gain your referral rewards. So, you know, what are the possibilities with Drip? roaring back from these prices um, going absolutely crazy again at the end of the day market cycles are what we used to in crypto that's you know at the end of the day that that's what it's all about right the charts go up and down you buy low you sell high so right now if you're buying over here you'll be buying high if you're selling here you're selling low and right now this will be the time to buy because you buy low and then when it goes high you sell or you scale out along the way. That is the most sensible strategy. So I just thought I'd make this video, give you my views on this, show you what I'm doing at the end of the day. It is only what I'm doing. So again, I will say it's not financial advice. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, guys, that being said, it's the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the price of drip right now. Do you see it going up anytime soon? Let me know what you think, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below, of course, let me know what you're doing. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.